Sandaya Grower's price action is forming an ascending triangle in the 4 hour, 1 hour, 30 minutes chart. What does this mean for the stock and what can we expect for the next hours and for the next daily sessions? Behind the trade here, welcome back to my channel. If you enjoyed this video and my other videos, please do not forget to subscribe by clicking the button at the bottom right part of the screen. This video, as also my other videos, are subtitled in more than 10 languages to allow everybody in the world to benefit of this technical analysis. I hope you will appreciate this. Um, just a quick disclaimer, I'm not financial advisor and these are just personal opinions and not financial advice. So let's get it started. If we start from the four hours chart and probably even better from the one hour chart, we will see what's happening with the price action of SNDL. So the price is making higher lows. Okay, while the highs are flat. So we have a strong resistance in all these uh, level of price here, which is between 0 0.49, 90 and 0 0.50. So let's say that 0 0.50 is the next resistance that we absolutely need to break. 0 0.50 is also a psychological level uh, whose, uh, let's say, uh, overcome would mean a lot for us. Um, so usually this pattern in technical analysis is a bullish pattern. It indicates that the moment, um, at the moment the breakout of this level of this resistance here will happen, this would probably bring to um, increase in volumes and in uh, purchases of the stock. So the bulls might take control once we overcome this level here. Level here. Um, is it for sure? No, it is not. There are also probabilities that the price might break downward. But um, personally, and again, personally speaking, I do not expect this to happen. It might happen again. So it's nothing for sure. This is not a crystal ball. We're trying to make considerations based on statistic probabilities and history of the price section of the stock. So this is what I would expect. The price in this session might try to reach the 0 0.50 and try to break it immediately or might try to reach the 0 0.50 and go back again to try to continue the dance inside this triangle before breaking it, it upwards. Uh, then uh, why also why do I also think that um, an upward breakout might happen? If we go to the daily chart we see that there is a candle that I uh, shared in my previous video that I really like, which is this candle here. This candle here in technical analysis is a potential inversion candle, reversal candle. And the fact that the volumes were much higher than average, as we can see here, if I zoom in, uh, this gives me the, um, let's say, I'm pretty confident that the price might try to continue its uh, upward lag. Also, because uh, we had, in my opinion, what's called um, exhaustion gap. So from the January 21st to January 24th, there was this gap here, which was then filled. And this gap here was anticipated by another gap two days before. So this initial gap here, was called like a uh, runaway gap. So this was a gap that was suggesting that the prices um, were starting being stronger in the downtrend. But now once we got this gap here and this candle here and the following candles did not, the following daily candles did not manage to break above the low of this candle here, this indicates to me that this gap is an exhaustion gap, meaning that my, this might have been the last run downward of the stock. So what am I waiting for in the next daily session? And my hope, definitely, my hope is that we finish the week above the high level, the highest level of the week of the 24th of January. This level is 0, 50, 20. So if we're able to close this week today above this level here, this would be a strong bullish signal. And I would be very confident in thinking that uh, the, the, the reversal is occurring uh, 
concretely. Um, if this will not happen this week, so if this week will still finish below the 050, we might be seeing the next week uh, some other movement inside the 055, 059 range. But still, for the weeks ahead, I would highly suggest to look at the weekly candle and to wait for a breakout of the 050 with a weekly candle. Why? Because this candle here, it's an indecision candle, okay, with volumes, not above average, but still with volumes, and the trigger for the upward movement will be the breakout of its high, highest level. So uh, be patient, don't get crazy in front of the screen every single hour of the, of the trading day because this doesn't make sense and doesn't help us at all. So just be calm, patient and let's look at what the price action will do and let's look at what the evolution of this pattern here will be. If we break out upwards, if this will be invalidated by a downward breakout, and let's see what happened for the end of the week. Have a great day and have a great weekend.